We meditate because we're looking for happiness. We found some good instructions. The Buddha set this all out, that training the mind leads to happiness. It's one of the basic principles in his set of instructions or his handbook. We're born into the world. There's no handbook. There's no instructions. We find our way. And bit by bit by bit we learn who we can trust, who we can't trust. But the problem is a lot of that has to do with whether we can trust ourselves, whether we're honest with ourselves. So you can think of the Buddha's teachings as a handbook. First, first principle is be honest. If you've done something, admit that you've done it. If you haven't done something, admit that, admit that you haven't. When you're honest in reporting your actions to other people, then you start becoming honest in reporting them to yourself. If you hide them from other people, after a while you start hiding them from yourself too. And then there's no way you can learn. Because essentially you're going to be learning from your actions. And the Buddha sets out the principle. Your actions are going to be shaped by your intention. So before you act, look at the intention. If there's any harmfulness in the intention, then don't act on it. If you don't see any, then we act on it. But then look at your actions and then look at the results you're getting while you're doing them. Because some actions show the results right away. And again, if you see any harm that's coming, you stop. If you don't, continue. And then when the action is done, you look at the long-term results. And if it turns out that you did cause harm, you go talk it over with someone else who's more advanced on the path. You make up your mind you're not going to repeat that mistake. If you don't see if there was any harm, then you can take joy in the fact that you're pr progressing. These are the basic principles in the Buddha's handbook. You're going to learn from your actions, and you're going to learn from your truthfulness. And the more you act on skillful intentions, the easier it is to ad admit a mistake to yourself. If you knew the intention was bad to begin with, and you acted on it anyhow, those are the kinds of actions you're not going to learn from. You tend to hide them from yourself. So the basic principles that the Buddha asks for is someone who's honest and observant, and particularly observant of your actions. And from there he gives more detailed instructions. There's some things he says you don't have to explore on your own. The five precepts are set out as things you don't need to prove for yourself again. Just accept them, train with them, and you begin to see that, yes, it is true, that the less you break the precepts, the less harm you're causing. And so on through the meditation. Here again, you've got to learn how to observe what you're doing. Learn from your mistakes so that you can become more and more skillful as a meditator. So those are the basic principles of the Buddha's handbook. Now that we've found it, try to make the best use of it. Because it is for our long-term welfare and happiness. The kind of happiness that is not going to disappoint the happiness is not going to let us down.